What's up everybody, I'm Derek, this is Rocking eForge, and today I thought I would do a one year on YouTube update, recap, introduction video for Rocking eForge. But first things first, I recently hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel and am nearing 1,100 at the time of posting this video, so I need to give a special thanks to all of you who have watched my content and deemed it good enough to continue coming back. It means more than you know. I am steadily approaching the first level of monetization here on YouTube, which requires 500 subscribers and over 3,000 watch hours of long form videos over the course of one year. And as of posting this video, I have just a few more watch hours remaining, and I am hoping to reach the requisite 4,000 watch hours of my content to make it to full monetization as soon as I can. So every second you watch my videos, every like, every comment, every new person that subscribes makes a huge difference to this channel. And again, I just want to express my gratitude and give my thanks to the people out there letting me know that I'm doing something worthwhile. Now. I haven't done a lot of talking about myself on this channel. You know, I've, I've done a few travel vlogs and talked about myself and kind of my experiences throughout the process of moving across the country. But in the grand scheme of things, I haven't really put a lot of who I am out there on this channel other than my personality. So as I said at the beginning of the video, my name is Derek and I am a level one certified blacksmith in the California Blacksmithing Association. Now I no longer live in California and I had to actually move across the country from California to Connecticut for my real job, which is being a submarine officer in the United States Navy. Now I am a Washington State resident, however I've lived all over the country thanks to my job, namely California, Connecticut, South Carolina, Washington State again, Rhode Island, and as I just mentioned, I am currently stationed in Groton, Connecticut for Submarine Officer Advanced Course. I am going to be a department head and I am continuing forward in my naval career even while making content and, you know, progressing in my blacksmithing hobby and potentially future career as kind of a parallel path, so to speak. Now, I got my start in blacksmithing, kind of more in bladesmithing, during my senior year of high school, an uncomfortably high number of years ago, when I made a camp knife by way of stock removal, or no forging, just taking a flat bar of steel and grinding it to the shape of a blade, as well as hand stitching my own leather sheath for it, under the tutelage of a good family friend who was a journeyman bladesmith at the time. I went to college, didn't do a whole lot because I was a broke, starving college student, got my degree in mechanical engineering at University of Idaho, and then joined the Navy as a nuclear propulsion officer, uh, submarine officer, etc. Now I'm not going to touch on my whole life story or, you know, my entire naval career. I just want to highlight that, you know, there was a large gap between graduating high school after making that knife and then actually kind of getting into the craft of blacksmithing, so to speak. So the first time I actually laid a hammer to hot steel was about three years ago, namely December of 2020, when I decided to hand make the Christmas gifts that I was giving to my family. I made a couple of kind of dapped copper spoons with steel stems, each of which had a forged leaf at the end. Leaves are actually one of the first decorative elements that I ever learned how to forge, which is why I put them on nearly everything that I make. One of them remained a spoon, the other became a candle holder that sat inside a mason jar, and then I forged a railroad spike stake turner for my dad. And that was kind of the first experience that got me really hooked on the artistic side of the trade. Now from there, I progressively, you know, watched a lot more YouTube videos. I basically taught myself how to blacksmith by watching videos from Alex Steele, Brian Brazil, Black Bear Forge, Essential Craftsman, kind of all of the the YouTubers that, that came before me, certainly, that many people that probably follow my channel are also familiar with. So if you see any similar tendencies or mannerisms or styles by which I, you know, use my hammer 
or forge certain things, they are 100% where I got it from. In order to work on my hammer skills, I started making, you know, small decorative bottle openers, keychain bottle openers that I've highlighted on this channel, as well as things like stake turners, which I've also highlighted on this channel, in order to really improve my precision with a hammer and really just get the fundamentals down. Now at the time I was living in Washington State again, where I was a junior officer on the USS Alabama, and once my tour ended there on the Alabama, I moved to Monterey, California to get my master's degree at Naval Postgraduate School. Now, while I was living in Monterey, I had the privilege of renting the corner of someone else's shop by the name of Russ Jones. Now Russ Jones is another blacksmith associated with the California Blacksmithing Association, and he let me kind of have the run of his shop, letting me use his grinders, tools, etc. Anything that I don't have in my own tool inventory, pretty much every weekend for almost a year. And this shop space is where I first started filming content. Now I actually got my start on TikTok making short form project videos and how to's, how to get into blacksmithing, things like that. And I ended up reaching about 16,000 followers, which is what led me to kind of start transitioning toward YouTube and long form content. Now, side note, if TikTok does end up sticking around here in the United States, please go follow me over there as well. Now, during this time, Russ did convince me to work through my level one cert projects and join the California Blacksmithing Association. And I worked through the list of projects for the CBA's level one cert and presented them to a instructor certified Smith at the Roaring Camp Hammer Inn in Felton, California, about a month before I left the state. While I was there, I finished my master's degree and then I moved from California all the way across the country to Groton, Connecticut for my next stint of training before going back to a submarine. Now I'm only here in Connecticut for about six months and at the time of filming this video, only about one more month. So I've just been renting a house for the time being, which doesn't really lend itself to forging or filming project videos, which is why my content has more shifted to travel vlogs and my Weird Weapons of History series and other talking head style videos like this one. However, I will be returning to Washington State within about another month, and I'm in the process of buying property, which includes a 30 by 30-ish two-car garage. Now, I intend to make this two-car garage into my own smithy workshop, so I will be getting back to my regularly scheduled programming as soon as I can. Now, on that note, this will be the first time that I'll be moving into a shop space that is truly and completely my own. As a result, I will now have the freedom to fully customize the layout, uh, the tools that I have in it, and the way that it looks. So let me know in the comments section if you have any ideas or recommendations, or if you simply just want to see a shop build video series where I go from a bare room to what I build it up to. So that about wraps up kind of a year in review of Rocking E-Forge here on YouTube and kind of what I've done over the last year in kind of behind the scenes, so to speak. Let me know if you enjoyed this style of video, kind of learning about me and who I am, what I've been up to, down in the comments section. If this video does well, I may try to do more of these kind of update style videos more frequently. Otherwise, I may just do an annual kind of update if things change frequently or if I have any major life changes, etc. I will be going into an even higher stress level job as I move to Washington State, so my content may become more sporadic, but I am going to try my darndest to keep a weekly or at least bi-weekly video production schedule. I'm going to start pre-filming a lot of project videos once I actually have my own space, and I'm going to start trying to do either YouTube or TikTok lives, record those, and start posting them as long, just kind of open-ended videos for people to watch if they're interested in kind of a blacksmithing version of a YouTube streamer. I'll be absolutely happy to answer questions in the streams. I used to do this on TikTok before I moved away from California, 
and got a lot of really interesting and very technical questions from people that just happened upon me. I love answering questions or being challenged in my understanding of things and then having to go learn about them. So please, uh, if you're interested in that, also let me know down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe, ring that notification bell. If you want to support me and the channel further, please consider becoming an honorary striker on my Patreon. Link is in the description below the video. And as always, keep on rocking.